Welcome to Oncology Data Advisor. Today we're here at ONS Congress and I'm joined by Abby Keller. Thanks so much for joining. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. So congratulations again on winning the Cure Extraordinary Healer Award. Um, how does it feel to have won it? Oh my goodness, thank you so much. It's really, it's very overwhelming and really at a loss for words, but so very, so very honored um, and really feel so appreciated and really just gives me a uh, reason to go back to work on Monday morning <laughs> and take all that I learned here at ONS Congress and change my practice for the better. Absolutely. So in your role at MD Anderson, uh, what are some of your main outreaches and projects? Yes, definitely. So there's definitely too many to name <laughs> right now, um, but really, you know, I take care of patients that are living with advanced breast cancer, um, and as part of that role, really looking at their quality of life and mm -hmm. the different programs that would support them. Um, so particularly, I facilitate a weekly support group um, for these patients, really to come and have a safe space to share what they might be experiencing. Um, and then also, a, we facilitate a weekly educational web um, so really just an educational event for all of our patients and their caregivers to really learn about their illness um, and all of the support services that are available to them. That's amazing. Those are so many great resources for patients. Yes, definitely. So what do you love most about being an oncology nurse? Mm -hmm. I love being able to connect with my patients, to mm -hmm. be able to meet them where they are, um, wherever they might be in their journey and to be able to listen and understand what it is that they might need mm -hmm. and then having the ability as a nurse to intervene and help them whether it's through education or resources um, really to be able to like I said meet them where they are um, and provide them with the support that we have because we're so fortunate to have so many resources um, to be able to assist our patients. Great. What has helped you sustain your passion for nursing? Mm, well, you know, so I was, a, I was a cancer patient when I was a child. Um, and so that is definitely a driving force behind my desire to get up every morning. Um, but I also have two young daughters. Um, and so really showing them that they can do anything that they want to do. And if they put their mind to it and that they work hard, that they can achieve great things. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, do you have any advice for nurses who might be starting out in their careers? I do. You know, the one big lesson that I have learned is just to be present and to listen, to, to take the time and to sit down and to listen. And you'll be surprised about what patients want to share with you. And then really through listening, you can understand and you can hear how to help your patients. Right. Um, and so it's a really simple task, but has long lasting profound effects. Right. So how have you enjoyed being at ONS so far? Oh my gosh, this is so fun. <laughs> the energy here is palpable. Um, you know, there's just so many meetings. I wish I could attend them mm -hmm. all, but they're all at the same time. Um, so look forward to using the recorded content, you know, when I get back and uh, viewing what I wasn't able to catch live while I was here. Great. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. It was so great talking with yeah, you. Yeah, it was wonderful. Thanks again.